y'all. Welcome back to another episode of the Golden Impact. 360 me, 360 you, 360 we, we in the building. What's going on? Woo! We are exhausted! How you feeling today? Let us know in the, in the comments below. How you feeling today? How's the 360 business going? Are we doing well? Are we excelling? Are we thinking about changing our minds? Are we thinking about changing something, changing software, changing status? Let us know. Make sure y'all leave us a comment below, like this video, and subscribe to this channel, guys, because y'all already know we give it up crazy when it comes to the 360 video booth. All right? So, today... We are talking about software. Today we are talking about the software Luma Booth compared to TouchFix and just letting you know of our overall experience with the last few months as opposed to our first software video when we had RevoSpin, TouchFix, Salsa, and even mentioned Snap and Instagram and all those that we are now well seasoned and know. So if you haven't gotten the gist of that already, make sure you check out our first software video. Here is the second software video. Let's get into it. So with TouchFix, we already went over with you guys, especially using it for the overlays, right? We have TouchFix. When you open it up, you have the opportunity for the slow-mo, the video. You change it in your settings on your computer browser, right? Great. Gallery, everything. Y'all already know we use TouchFix left and right. So we were asked to dive into Luma Booth. So we actually used Luma Booth at our last event. And let us tell you, it was amazing. There was no glitching. There were no shutdowns. It ran smooth. As soon as we put it through, the clients got it immediately. Of course, with the help of our MiFi or just great service. And it was a great experience. So... Luma Booth, right, is an app that is $20 a month with tax. We believe it comes out to like $21 or $22 um, a month and every month on the day you sign up. TouchFix, we believe, is about, let's see, we believe it's fifth, around $50 weekly, $149 monthly, and then $1,000 yearly. So as you know us, we love to do something that is yearly because we don't like to necessarily see it come out our accounts each month. And we know that we're saving when we do more time. However, if you're not sure you're going to use a specific software, we wouldn't recommend that. We would recommend trying out the shortest term. That way you can get the opportunity, feel it out if you like it, then go into the yearly subscription because all in all, you're still more than likely be saving as opposed to for TouchFix doing it weekly every week, right? Or every month. But with Luma Booth, it is $20 a month. So you see the difference there. Now, Luma Booth, when you open it up, it's fairly simple. It's fairly similar as well as it has a video and it has Boomerang. Boomerang is described as a boomerang, but also the slow motion option. So when you tap into the app and you're first greeted by the welcome screen, you'll see different events that you have saved. And then you'll see to the top right where you can launch the event and go into any event. So we did like that because with Luma Booth, you can go into any event and relaunch it. Go to test one. You'll go to test two. You'll go to your next event, right? So that is really nice and different from TouchPix, where TouchPix, you have to close out the event and you can't go back into the event. Luma Booth, you can go back into your event. So going back to the main page, on the bottom left side, you'll see what the start screen will look like when you're about to hit the record button for the 360 video booth. And then you can also choose your capture for the photo, the GIFs, the boomerang, or the video. Obviously, for the 360 video booths, we keep it with the slow motion and the video. And then you'll also have the options how you want to print it and things like that. So what we'll do, you can easily go to settings, rename events, delete events, things like that. But this is nice because it gives you the option to copy settings. So from the last event or whichever event you click, you can just copy the settings. So we're going to create a new event so you can see. Um, different from TouchPix, like we said, you can go into the events 
even after they're done, which is really cool because if you want to go in and create something that was just specifically for that event, or you want to go in and see if the event works with music because you didn't do music before, you can do that too. So we're going to go ahead and create a new event, which is really different from TouchPix because TouchPix, you have to be in the web browser to create an event. You can't create the event on the actual app. Luma Booth, you can, right? So you'll go to customize settings. Now this gives you the option if you want to have a background or not, right? If you want to have a background, you can choose from um, what you have on your file here. If you had a logo that you wanted to be on it, right? You can do it like that. Obviously we would resize it and then put it back up, but that's just to show you an example. Or you can choose a color, go in with the color. That's the background. You can do a theme where you have a primary and secondary color that you can use for any one of them. You can choose your font so the font looks different if you want it bigger, if you want it smaller, things like that, right? You can go in and literally edit it yourself and how it's presented. It's so cute. So because it says print layout, don't get confused. It's just think of it, printing is the video being created, right? Just as if a photo was being created. So you're going to go into the print layout and you're going to decide what it is that you actually need. So this is for the actual picture. So you're going to go to the down arrow when it comes to the print layout. Make sure that you're in the right event up here, right? And you're going to go to capture mode. You're going to see which ones you want to use. Obviously, the ones that are highlighted red are the ones that you want to use. So we're going to take the photo off and we're going to take the GIF off, right? The boomerang says slash 360, which is perfect, and then regular recording on the video. Then you're going to go to your capture settings. Obviously, we're not doing the photo or the GIFs as we've explained before. You can do the countdown just as touch picks with the five, the six, the seven seconds. As you guys know, we like to do a little bit so that we can create the best angles. You can do the quality, changing the quality on the actual video. You can do the size, which is very important when it comes to the overlays. As you know, we have this video here of all of our art overlays. The sizes seem to match up with TouchPix and what TouchPix offered because it's catered to a phone. So if you have the phone vertical or if you have the phone horizontal or if you have it in the square, it's all about those measurements that you see there. We usually go with the square and the ultra wide view, which is the 1080 by 1080. This is the text that you see before recording. You can change it like, let's go girl, or we in the building, cause y'all already know 360 me, 360 you, 360 we, what? We in the building, right? As it's recording, you can change that too, right? So very catered to specific customizations that you may want that will give you some empowerment and some motivation for that event. Then um, you can choose if you want the flash to blink when it's recording so that the clients know that it's recording, or you can take that off so it doesn't blind or confuse them. Then the presets, this is where you really want to get jiggy with it because the first one is just slow motion. So as soon as it goes, it's completely slow. The second one is fast, and then it goes into slow. The third one is fast, then slow. And then the fourth one is fast, then slow, then fast, then slow, which is really, really cool because now you can determine if you want to do which one you want to do. You don't necessarily just have to go fast into slow motion and then the boomerang that reverses it. You can actually decide if you want it to go slow to fast or if you want to go slow to fast to slow to fast. Mind-blowing, right? So when it gets intricate like that, you can then... You can simply choose one and just leave all the presets it has already, or you can get jiggy with it, choose which one you want to do, and decide how fast you want to go, right? So for the fast, if you want it to go twice as fast, or you want it to go twice as fast for a little bit longer, then you can choose that, right? Or if you want it to go slow, then you can choose to go slow. So it really just determines the fact of how you want to do it. So you can move it, you want that to be, you want it to be faster, longer, or you want it to be faster, shorter, and then you want it to be longer in the slow motion. Like it's it's nice because the photos help. Remember, we were discussing in the app in our previous video that was a lot of configurations. And even though we were able to figure it out, obviously we want things to be self-explanatory, straightforward. Not everyone is tech savvy, right? So this provides that great opportunity. 
The turtle is the slow, the rabbit is the fast, right? So when we move, when we keep going, right, we see that you are able to actually add a soundtrack. So we're going to go in and we're going to choose a soundtrack that we can add onto the video. How amazing is that? Boom. There's the soundtrack. And if you want us to show you guys how to do the music, we will. Um, we just want to make sure that there's a full disclaimer that it's the most accurate and appropriate way to do it. If it's not, then do your due diligence and research on how to get the best music for your videos, right? So as you can see, we outed that soundtrack. And then you'll be able to add your overlays, animated overlays, as well as regular overlays, which TouchPick has as well. And then you, just as it says choose, you choose it there. So this was one that we had already. You choose it here. Okay, bing, bang, boom. And this is all the configuration for the slow motion, right? And then you have the same thing for the video. So for the video, you have the countdown and then you have the video length and you have the quality as well. You also have the size that you want to make sure is correct so that it matches the correct overlay you're doing. That is very important. If you do not have the correct dimensions, then the overlay won't upload. You have to make sure that you have the correct dimensions. Again, you can change the text when it's going, before recording, after recording, when it comes to the music. And then your obvious, your image overlay. So you can pick one up here, which is different. And then the other one, which is different down there. This is getting fancy when it comes to the exposure, the temperature, the lighting. Um, what we really just look at here is the camera. So the event setting, we like, as y'all know, the back camera because it provides the best quality for iPhones. That's what we know from the Apple website. Do your research, your due diligence in the descriptions on the website. But back ultra wide, it opens it up even more, right? When we're looking at my hand, y'all see these nails though? <laughs> if y'all look at my hand, right? And we have the back wide angle as opposed to the back ultra wide angle, you see? Do you see the difference, right? Very important, especially if you want to get clients full outfit. You don't want to just be all up in their face, up and close and personal. That is our favorite lens to use. And you can change that on touch picks as well you're going to go to the email and the SMS. We do the same ones from our previous video. Another thing that we like about LumaBoot that was different from TouchPick is that you can insert on the text message here, you can insert a website. So if you want them to go directly to your website, you can, right? You can literally go to it and it's text to them. They'll be able to click it and you're all set. On TouchPix, you can't enter the website on the actual SMS. You can for like an email, but not the text messages that go out. So that is a game changer for us because we love to be able to send people an opportunity right away to do a review for us, right? Reviews, you get more referral, you get a wider look on what your actual business can cater to. So that is another difference from the software of TouchBase. You'll even have the opportunity to change the description for Instagram and things like that. So Instagram, email, and text message, okay? Sharing stations, all similar to TouchBase as well as a few other apps, cloud sharing, QR, AirDrop, Twitter. You can add a message there. Timeout screen when it comes to the sharing, showing original photos, everything that we are used to doing. You can even add a survey on for each guest at the end, which other apps have as well. And the disclaimer that you can turn on for each video so that they are approving the videos. However, we put that in our contract so that they know for everyone for the event, they have already confirmed and approved, gave us permission to record everyone to use it for marketing. Okay, so you can then launch the video, launch it and click the video. The video is ready to go. You'll be able to do your spin. You can exit out if you need to. The boomerang is also ready to go. You can do your spin if you need to. 
So let's do the boomerang. Let's let's see how we even did the configurations. We're not even sure. We would go all the way around, but obviously we just want y'all to see us. So. <laughs> This is as if you choose the disclaimer, then you would have each one. But this is what the video comes out and looks like. So this. Wow. So you see the overlay. You see the music. So we had to just quiet that part out because we know with the music, there's certain music you can't put on YouTube. And obviously this video has to stay up because it's dropping crazy gems, right? So you can exit out, you can retake. It will play it twice. But the most important part is the sharing part. You have the email, you have the text message, you have the Instagram, Twitter, airdrop, QR code, all of it, right? And then you're just going to text it to yourself. So we're going to text it here. And then we're going to see how fast it pops up, right? Forgot our own number. So it just sent. And let's get the notification. Boom. Less than a second. Wow. So like we said, we obviously make a customized uh, message. But because it was quick and we were just showing you guys, this is the goldenimpact.net. They click it, and where are we at? Boom. 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 But obviously, we would put it here for the Golden 360 video booth. We would use this link because this is the link where guests are allowed to leave our reviews, right? What are people saying? They'll go straight to here. They'll scroll down, and they'll be able to submit a view, review because now we can put the link right directly. We recommend going for it. All right, y'all. So we hope this was helpful. We're going to come back with other software reviews. I'm sure other softwares are updating and trying new things. However, this seems to be the best price so far with all of the quality items that we've received in touch picks plus more. So that is based on our experience. Definitely create your own experience. Let us know. Come back to this video if y'all like it. If y'all don't like it and there's things that you would you would have hoped we talked about that happened to you. Make sure you leave a comment below. Come back, leave a comment below. Hopefully we can get in contact with Luma Booth and maybe see how we can expand our knowledge, their knowledge, and expand from within. But all in all, we hope this video helped us. Y'all already know 360 me, 360 you, 360 we, because what? We in the building. Make sure y'all comment, like, subscribe, and y'all already know. Bang that bell for the next episode. We'll catch y'all real soon. We gotta go to work, y'all. We gotta go to work.